Sarah Lynn here. Welcome to Makeup University. Hey, you guys, if this is your first time here, would you be so kind as to subscribe? And welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you're returning, welcome back. Glad to have you return. As you can see, it is not the usual studio setting. And I'm just having a super busy day. I would call it a super busy season. And so uh, to catch you up, as my posts have been really sporadic, starting February 3rd, I got BPPV, or inner ear labyrinthotis, whatever you wanna call it. I have been dizzy, like not tipsy, ha ha ha, dizzy. I mean debilitating, can't walk, constantly nauseous, can hardly eat, if I did, can't hold it down. Dizzy. Oh, it has been so bad. And I am, I would say 80% better. And sometimes like moving quickly or trying to quickly look over my shoulder while driving can stir up the dizziness again. So I don't want to call it 100% healed yet. Now, that's why we're out here like doing this in the wilderness, which is my backyard, which is so beautiful, by the way. Arizona is gorgeous. But uh, because of the dizziness, I am super slow, like snails move faster than me. And I needed to walk the dog. And part of my commitment in 2019 was just fitness. I remember I used to just marathon and triathlon all the time because they're so much fun. And then I had an injury and just slowly went downhill to the point of doing nothing. Well, let me tell you what nothing looks like. So um, I just want to get back. Maybe I'm not in Iron Man shape again, but I definitely need to be more fit than I am for health. Ha! <sighs> Which brings us to Wine Wednesday. Hello, guys. So I think a little bit of wine is healthy. And I love red wine. And this is Charles Shaw Cab Sav 2015. And I was recently, as you know, my little podunk town, this little town with the gas and sip that you can buy wine at, we don't have a Trader Joe's. In fact, the closest Trader Joe's would be in Las Vegas, I think. I've not been to the Las Vegas store, but I think that's where it is. I recently returned from Studio City. I was there for an Oscars party, and just two blocks from my hotel was a Trader Joe's, and it, I went crazy in there. I got all of like the, oops, excuse me, it's itchy out here. I got many lovely snacks, just some good organic seeds and nuts and just good foods. I love Trader Joe's and I got those. And as I was getting ready to check out, this was actually like the kiosk stand next to the, do you hear that? Okay, just over, like you can kind of see, this is a stickery bush, but you can see this ridge right here. If you go down further between that ridge top and this little valley, there is a long sloping hill and it goes into a wash and there is a herd of wild donkeys out there. In my area, we have a lot of donkeys, burrows, whatever you want to call them. They're a lovely, lovely creature. So you might hear them bray, but point is this is Wine Wednesday. I picked up a bottle of Two Buck Chuck. Charles Shaw. There are so many stories, myths, and musing about why this brand is called Two Buck Chuck. I do know a little bit of it on the distribution side that it was actually bought out by Franzia. If you think Franzia, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking refrigerator box of wine. Yes, that company, Franzia, that makes those big adult juice boxes actually bought this brand and they do bottle it. Um, it's a California wine and they do bottle it there, but the grapes aren't necessarily like the coastal grapes. They're more of a inland kind of grape. And if you're a wine person, you already know what I'm talking about. But I'm here to say, uh, I seem to remember, I haven't had Tubac Chuck in 
maybe 10 years, maybe shorter, maybe long. It's been a long time and I bought it on a whim. I didn't know if I should get the Merlot or the Cab Sav. They were actually selling a red blend, which I haven't seen in Charles Shaw. But then again, I'm nearly never in that store. The only other place that I go to a Trader Joe's is in Carlsbad because it's right by the BF's house. And um, when I'm on my way to see her, I usually pick up some stuff from Trader Joe's. Long story short, this 2015 Cab Sav from Two Buck Chuck was okay. Things to know. I nearly never, like I always finish a bottle within a day or two. That's true. And I have a glass or two and then I bottle it and then I have a glass or two. And I always find like only when it's first opened do I like it. That's why I totally support wine on tap because once the wine hits oxygen, like there's such a thing as opening up the bottle, pouring it out into a decanter with a nice wide open lip so that it can breathe and activate and be ready to be enjoyed. But I feel like with just my experience, when I open a bottle and I drink some today and I cork it back and I store mine at room temp, I don't put it in the refrigerator and I usually store it on its side with the cap in, it tastes a little different. It's a little off that next day. This took me like an entire like week, like seven days to drink because I just, I'm so dizzy. Like I can have a little two, three ounces, but I can't even have like a full glass because I'm dizzy. Ah! Point being, I don't remember it being, well, I guess I just want to say that I could sip on it, but I, I didn't, I didn't really like it. Like I definitely would probably buy it again because it's two buck chuck, but Actually, it wasn't like wow and then again you have to remember I've been taking medicine not feeling a hundred percent so I guess the moral of this story on this wine Wednesday is that maybe I need to give this one a second shot when I feel best when I not take when I'm not did you hear that that nuttiness when I'm not taking a medicine when I'm feeling my best because then maybe I'll remember and be able to taste that flavor that I enjoy. As for sipping on this one, it, it went down kind of hard and there's many factors. Now I know they do a Rosé, a Zinfandel, a Chardonnay. There's so many choices for you to try in Charles Shaw. And I think for all those on a budget, if you need, and it's not really two bucks, it used to be $1.99, now it is $2.99. The point being, if you need just a quick gift bottle, which I have given many of people a gift of this, and I think it's kind of like a tongue in cheek wine gift, and um, you let me know what you think about that. But the other point is, um, it's just affordable, or if you're using cooking wine to reduce sauces or deglaze pans, this is a good one. And I'm probably, I'm out of town over the weekend, but when I get back, I'm gonna open a bottle that I have had sitting in there for over a month now. Wine never lasts that long in my house. And I have had a bottle of Curious Beasts, and I have just been, I, I admit, I bought it because of the label. Um, it's a $10 range wine. I want to say it was $10.99 or $11.99. So it's still quasi in the budget, but I have been curious about Curious Beasts for quite some time and I haven't been able to get into it due to the dizzy, but it's definitely on next week's radar. So next week's Wine Wednesday, I will probably be talking to you about Curious Beasts. As for now, Charles Shaw is a hit. Let's just go with the history of the product. I might not have liked it this time. There was a lot of factors. I think next time I just might like it. I think you will too. And just remember, for $3 for a bottle of wine, if you didn't like it to drink into the frying pan, into the saucepan, it goes. And there's so many other ways that you can enjoy it. And I think this would be a great base for making your own sangria. So, two buck chuck, thanks for playing. Hey, 
if you have a $10 range wine that you like, would you let me know in the comments? Because I am always looking for a new one to try. I tend to shop at the Walmart, but if it is a Kroger, like a Ralph's or a Safeway, I can definitely pick it up there. And I've got trips to Vegas coming up, so I can be hitting the Total Wine if you want to recommend something there. I just know that I am always on the hunt for my new favorite wine. Hey everybody, I'm Cheryl Ann. This is Makeup University and The Wine Wednesday. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.